break time again. Zippity doo da, zippity a. No more chemistry for me today. Not again. I gotta stop going down that same path. Every path leads to Dr. Romano. Grinyard fun? Nothing's fun about this. Uh oh. Hi, Dr. Romano. Uh, are you gonna show me how Grinyards are fun? I most certainly will show you how it's fun. Um, let's get right down to it. I'm going to do four problems for you, and all four of these are must-haves for your toolbox on the DAT exam to do well. First thing I want to do is to take a Grignard and treat it with CO2 and acid. What we simply do is that how I put on a COOH group. So as you can see, where the MgCl was, you put on a COOH group. And that's called carbonation of a Grignard. So it allows me to take a Grignard and build a carboxy acid out of it with one additional carbon. Here's an interesting one if you go straight up. You took a Grignard and you treated it with formaldehyde. A nice way I like to teach my students is you get your finger and you break open the double bond. And where the double bond is, as you can see, the double bond O becomes an OH, and then you simply add on the Grignard. Hopefully you can see what I've done. You've gone from a Grignard into a primary alcohol with one extra carbon. I open up the double bond, make it into an OH, and this carbon simply gets the carbon from the Grignard. Likewise, if you have a ketone, it's done in an analogous way. You get your finger, you break open the carbonyl group, the carbonyl O becomes an OH group, and this carbon, you simply add on the Grignard. And finally, if you have a nitrile, this is the one most students have a lot of trouble with. All you're going to do is you're going to mentally pretend that this triple bond N leaves. In the mechanism of the reaction, it becomes ammonia. We set up a leaving group. All you need to know for the dot is get rid of the triple bond N, replace the triple bond N with a double bond O, and then that carbon gets the carbon from the Grignard, and it gives you the ketone. I hope that gives you a good idea of some of the reactions done by the Grignard. So Grignards can make things like primary alcohols, acids, secondary alcohols, and even ketones. I hope that gives you a nice review. Thank you, Dr. Romano. I think I saw a fish jump out there. I think I'm going to go fishing, or do you think I need to get back to work? I think you need to get back to work, and don't worry about the fish. Good day to you. Okay, Dr. Romano. Bye. Tag nabbit.